good, thank you. Oh, no, no, that's that's good. So we'll do a broadcast session first. Uh, Rob, you want to start? Hi, Neil. Yeah. Hello. Um, it's a very strong unbeaten run you're on in the league and the Europa League at the moment. So how high is confidence and belief in the camp at the moment? Like always, like always. No matter what momentum we are, we're always confident because we're prepared to compete. We cannot expect things to happen. We want to make them happen and uh, we are ready for tomorrow. Were you pleased with what you saw against Arsenal, particularly from the start of the game? Yeah, I think we started, we play good. We play good. A lot of positives, a lot of things not so good. Always the same analysis, but we did a good performance. How important is a fast start for you in a game, no matter whether it's Premier League, Europa League? You Are you, uh, is what, you, you what is for you a fast start? I suppose where the tempo is how you would want it and the passing is as crisp as you would like it, that, that kind of thing, the, the things you enjoy. Yeah, it's important to start well the game. No, I will not say fast start, but start well the game, manage the game knowing that the game has different moments, you have to defend, you have to have the ball, but we always want to start controlling and manage the game. And if we can be a better team during the first minutes, I think we can impose um, that and sustain to, throughout the, the game. That is what we want. Bratislava going very well in their league, and of course it was a very different atmosphere for you and your players in the away fixture. Looking back on that result, how significant was that for you? It was important and uh, the performance was good, especially in the second half, but uh, uh, Slovan is a very good team. They caused us in the first half problems, we had uh, to, to adjust and we expect a tough game tomorrow against a very good team. Is a win essential, do you think, for you for, to qualify? We want to play, we want to perform. We are back in Molino, uh, a while that we don't play in front of our fans and we want to perform well. Is everyone okay in the squad? Matt Doherty came off at the weekend, but he was out there training when we saw him. Yeah, he's okay, he's okay. He recovered well, was a knock on his knee. He's been struggling, but he's recovered well, he's okay. Morgan Gibbs White, is he okay? He, I mean, he's, he's struggling with the, the same problem, the, the low back pain. Um, we decided to keep inside today, to, to offload him a little bit. Let's see for tomorrow. Are you finding, because I think you've played 22 games already yeah. this season, that you are getting more knocks, more little issues that you have to manage this season and players are playing through a bit more pain or is, is it okay? We are trying to do doing a good, a, good, a good job in terms of recovering the players, knowing that when you compete, you, it's susceptible, it can happen, knocks can happen, situation injuries can happen. What we try is to manage and prevent before in a very detailed way and, way, and then after taking care of them and give them some time to recover and if we decide not to go in the pitch, it doesn't matter that it's not an option, it's uh, our decision, the medical department decision to see what is better for the, the player. And just finally from it, uh, Adama will be speaking to you shortly. He's yeah, he's late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is he in trouble? He was supposed to be first, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Is he in trouble? No, no, no. <laughs> Unless you cause him problems. <laughs> um, he's come off the bench and, and done really well uh, in the last two Europa League games. Um, he always offers a threat, doesn't he? Is it a, a, a kind of a, a unique weapon that you've got, you know, in the Europa League games where maybe it's a different tempo to the Premier League? It's an option, it's an option. We, we've been using Adama the best way that we think is, is good for the team, but is one of our many options that we have that we have to consider. What we want is to to play well well as a team, knowing that each player individual can bring can bring new things, new solutions and talent. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nino, um, how much have you enjoyed the Europa League so far this season? Well, we enjoy and we embrace the challenge we are enjoying very much, yes. And you talked about the unusual atmosphere obviously for the, the away game. It's going to be very different tomorrow night, isn't it? Yeah, tomorrow night we play in front of our fans. Uh, I think is uh, is how how we want mm, because sometimes even when we're away, they are there's their massive presence there makes us feel like we are in Molino. But tomorrow we are in Molino and it feels good. Yeah, so obviously some of those fans, although you take large away following, some of them haven't seen you play for a long time now. Yeah, yeah, I mean four weeks, no, no, four games, four games already, four games. We miss them. We want them close to us. And um, in terms of the, the way that the group is shaping up, I mean, a win tomorrow night would take you 
pretty much to the, the verge of qualification. Is that important to try and wrap it up early? We have to play the game. We are ready to compete, perform, knowing that Slovan is going to be a very tough team. We have to be organized and play, and play, play, compete well is more important. And uh, you asked about you know how you came with all the fits you played so far, and again you know busy weeks it seems to be relentless at the moment. Yes, yes, and, is, and it will not stop. It will not stop. This is the reality, and we have to face it and embrace it. Thank you. Um, Quickly ask about, um, we've seen Adama doing different things this season. He seems to be a good learner, like a lot of your players. I think all the players have to, to be versatile and, and learn and adapt to to different positions. Adam is one of the of the players that we have that is able to do that. He's been doing well, but we have other other players that in the same situation. So um, building a, a small squad like we have, we need versatile players, no doubt about it. Do you find sometimes you sorry? Do you find sometimes that players are learning things or trying new roles that they perhaps didn't expect to or, or finding skills that they wouldn't have imagined they would have that you've seen the potential for? Yes, yes, and I, and I think this is our job, this is our job, and to, to look at the player, see how can he improve, and eventually if he can do another position, it happened with Cody, for example, since the beginning, even Matt Doherty was playing on the left, um, the two seasons pre previous, I think, on the left side, as a back four, so I think it's our job and the job of uh, each manager to, to find out the best of each one of the players that we have. That must be good for their confidence to discover these new things about themselves, it seems to be good for a job. I hope so. I hope so. Um, they must be confident because we trust them. We don't make decisions based on we base, make decisions based on the knowledge that we have and the beliefs that we have. We, pass, we try to pass them to them so they go along with us. Thank you, Mike. Okay, turn the cameras off, please. And this is for Rob. Do you want to start us off? Yeah. Hi, Dan. Hi. You okay? Yeah. You? Yes, very good. Um, we said to Nuno that you were about to come in, he said you were late, um, so we uh, wanted to know if you had a response to that really. No, I was <laughs> I was doing some some tacti tactic speak with Boli. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> how's uh, confidence in, in the camp at the moment? It was a good point at the weekend, and both in Europe and the Premier League, you must be pretty happy with your form? Yeah, I think uh, the team has been perf the performance with the team has been great. For be honest, uh, I think we've been doing a great job. I said it before, uh, it's a new competition for us, playing three games, two games in the week, and it's tough. But like I say, uh, I think the mentality of the team is great, and we play uh, whatever is the team against us. We fight until the end. The game against Arsenal, I think. Uh, uh, we deserve more. I think uh, the one point it was good, definitely with against a great team. But I think uh, the team was looking for the three to, for the three points. So, but um, we have to watch the game now. We did watch the game. We did we did watch what we have. We can do more, and after grow like a team and grow like a player. How much of a challenge has it been with a quite a small squad? have played 22 games already this season. Like I say, I think uh, the important thing is about the, the mentality the, the Nuno uh, expressed to the team. And I, it is uh, whatever whatever if we are short the squad. You, ha you, you we know if you won't be in this competition, you have to be like this, and this is the team we have. So uh, this is the situation we have, and, and I think the important thing is uh, 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 have a have a game plan. I think every every game plan with Nuno is great, and after follow the the, the task, and after uh, uh, like I say, the mentality of the team is uh, fight uh, until the the last minute, and this is what we do. And after we have ambitions, that is the true. And it's always great to play in Europe, and I think every player won't play in Europe. And personally, me, I like to play football, so I I will play in any moment. How far can you go in this competition? Can so. You win it? Definitely, if we like, I say we play every, each game, whatever is the game against whatever is the team for win. I'm not coming in the pitch, and I think any player in the team come out in the in the pitch thinking uh, will be lose. So whatever is the team, I think the important thing is game by game. I can't say to you how far we go because I would lie, but like a, 
the what what I can tell you we will fight every game to to win it. And if you do win this next game, it opens up a, a five point gap between yourselves and third. So how crucial is it in terms of you qualifying out of the group? Like I say, uh, I think of course we 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 are aware of of these three points, but I think. The important thing is always focus in the game we have in front, uh, and I think the important thing we we can think about it. Maybe if we win these games, we have three points, and after the the game, the following games, thinking okay, we already have three points, so we sure in the next round. I think every, each game for us is important, and each each uh, each game against whatever is the team. Like I said before, we will fight to win. Because it is the important thing. Uh, we don't come out in the pitch thinking now we have three points, or uh, maybe uh, these three points will make sure we are in the next round. I think whatever is the game, we will go out to win it. You made a big impact coming on at half time in, in Bratislava. Um, how much do you enjoy the difference of coming off the bench and trying to make an impact, or do you much prefer you know starting a match or? Have you found that in, in the Europa League maybe the tempo is a bit slower, so your pace is even more dangerous in the second half? I think, uh, like I say, I trust. I said before, I trust in the process of Nuno. I've been playing in three positions, different positions. In this in this time when Nuno made me come on in the last game in, in the Europa League, I was playing winger. But whatever, if I play in the uh, wing back or striker, like I play in this season, I will do my best. And my mentality is whatever is the position, if I can give. My quality there, it makes me a better player. So, like I say, uh, whatever if I start or whatever if I am in the bed in the bench, I will be come out to help the team and 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 give my best to win. It's great to be versatile, but what do you think is your best position? Which one do you enjoy the most? Everyone know my natural position is a winger. That is the true, and this is, this is the, the always always I play. Uh, in my life, but like I say, I think these different positions I've been playing in winger. Uh, I think uh, I've been working hard and I've been showing in, inside in the pitch. And whatever is in the striker, when I like I, I play in the last minutes against Manchester City. So if I can improve myself in each position, it makes me better player because uh, most of the times uh, each game, uh, each situation need different solutions. So this is what I think. Thank you. Thank you. Is there much difference? Do you feel between Premier League games and Europa League games anymore? Yeah, I think it's different. The truth is, uh, the games of Europa League, depending which team you play in in, in Premier League, if more uh, the the game is more physical, is more uh, coming and back, and whatever is the game is different situation. And this is the truth. I think for me, the Premier League is the best competition in in the world. And of course, is of course it's different the, the 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 game plan of 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 the each team will play in Europe. But I think uh, that is good for us. It make us grow like a like a team because it's new thing for us. Of the four away games, how much are you looking forward to being back playing the morning? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it all, it's always a great comeback to 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 your your own fans and the support and. And but uh, whatever is the game we play, I think the fans they've been great as well. Outside of of of, of Molinos, the, the the away games, they are there as well. So uh, like I say, it's been it will be great to come back to Molinos and 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 win. Okay. Um, when Nuno says to you, I want you to play in a different position or do a new role. I mean, quite a few of the players have to learn new things. Does that? Give you confidence that he sees something in you that you can do differently. Yeah, definitely, it made me confident. Like I say before, I I, I trust his process. Uh, last year, I didn't play much like uh, this year, but uh, like I say before, I, I always trust the process of of him, and he trusts me. So I think uh, different players in 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 the team have different conditions. I can play in these three positions and different players they can play in different positions that is the true because uh, I can tell you I can play in the central back because this is not my position but maybe like players like uh, then Donker in this case he is playing in the midfield and after and after in, in, in central back and I think 
each player have different things. Each player is, is important, and each player the the the, the manager try to explain him and 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 trying to help him to give his best in different positions. And I think for me, like I said before, it's important if you are a player, you can play in different positions because this this give this give in the team different things in the team and in different moments maybe it's important to the team to to. To, to have a uh, different solutions to win the game. So that must be very exciting for you to say, well, I'm being made a better player. This is helping me improve. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and I say it and I really believe it. And I think uh, in, in every position, he demands me different things like offensively and defensively and I think this makes me better player because if I can add with my quality like his speed uh, uh, dribbling and, and after my power so if I can add different things in my in my game it makes me better player and this uh, I like grow every day. That's great. Thank you. Okay. Um, so there's a Midlands derby between yourselves and Villa on Sunday. Is it is the lack of preparation a concern at all for the team? Sorry, second. Um, so you've got a Midlands derby yeah. at the weekend yeah. on Sunday. Um, is the lack of time to prepare between the matches a concern at all? Mm, I think, uh, like I said before, if you won't play in this competition like every player won't play in Europe, you have to adapt yourself. And I think, uh, of course, it's not the, we, 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 know, we are not preparing ourselves like Villa because Villa don't play in this time uh, in Europe. But... Like I said before, each player won't play in, in Europe, and if you, we won't be here, we have to adapt ourselves. And, and like I said, I say before as well, I think uh, uh, the, not only the players has been working so hard. I think the physios, the uh, the 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 staff, they've been working so hard because most of the time when we've been out in in Turkey on. After the next day, we've been here. Uh, uh, we fly back at like at three, four o'clock, and at the next day we train, and they set everything up for a recovery and and push in, until the next game. So I think the staff they've been doing a great job, and I'm happy to 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 be in Europe, and will we fight each game for win? Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Brilliant guys. Time on the run.